we can, if we heat up some metal, it glows, and maybe that could be used as the light source. Well, actually, just passing an electric current through some iron wool, we can indeed get some, uh, some light. So if we just have the lights down, that's great. So we can see here, just applying a battery to this iron wool, it's causing some of this iron to glow bright, uh, just like the sparklers. Well, could we make a light bulb from the iron? Well, no, we couldn't. We couldn't because it's just too reactive. It combines with the oxygen far too readily. So they looked at some other elements instead. Now, one of them that they tried was platinum. Can we find platinum, please? <coughs> There's, well, somewhere. Yes, that's it. It's centering there. Platinum. There's platinum. But the problem with platinum, it worked very well, but it's far too expensive. In fact, some of you may well have jewellery made of platinum. Instead of platinum, another element was tried, and this element is tungsten. Where's tungsten, please? Some of you are all over the place. But uh, yes, some of you are centering around here. This is a trick one, of course. Tungsten, the symbol for tungsten is W, named after Wolfram, a different uh, name for tungsten. Tungsten has been chosen for light bulbs. It works very well because tungsten actually has the highest melting point of all the metals that there are. Tungsten doesn't melt until over 3,400 degrees C. OK, well, we have a little demonstration here to try and show this. I have here two cut-off light bulbs. Maybe if we can uh, zoom in on these. Now, this is a rather tricky demonstration to show here. We've taken the tops off of these light bulbs, and at the moment, there's still some gas in here. We're going to remove the gas with the aid of a vacuum pump. So, first of all, let's just take the air out of here. Very good. OK. And now, uh, it's please. And now I'm going to switch on the light bulbs and just gradually turn them up. If we can have the lights down. And into the one with the green balloon, I'm going to let some air. And into the one with the white balloon, I'm going to let a gas called argon. Now let's see what happens. So the gases are going in. Let's turn up the voltage. And the one with the air has gone, it's blown, but the one with the argon is still a light. So even tungsten, with its very, very high melting point, it will still react with the oxygen. So we can't have any oxygen present in our light bulb. So when you buy a light bulb, there's no air in there. The gas is actually a different gas called argon, and argon is used because it's so unreactive, it doesn't combine with the tungsten. Air would combine, and this is the chemical reaction that we have here, tungsten plus oxygen forming tungsten oxide. And actually, if we were able to look really closely at this light bulb, we'd see a very yellowy green colour of the tungsten oxide on the filament here where it's burnt away. OK, well, perhaps we ought to just find this in the periodic table. So the gas that we use instead of air is argon. And there it is up there. Very good. Well... You may have heard of some uh, modern forms of these uh, lamps. In